If 1,800 square centimeters of material is available to make a box with a square base and an open top, find the largest possible volume of the box. At the very end, round the volume to two decimal places. So our box has a square base. Let's let the base be x by x centimeters. And let's let the height be y centimeters. We are trying to maximize the volume. The volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Or in our case, the volume is equal to x times x times y, or x squared y. But we do have the constraint that 1,800 square centimeters of material is available. And remember, this is an open top box, and therefore there is no top. This indicates the remaining surface area must be a maximum of 1,800 square centimeters. And we'll assume we will use all the material. Notice the area of the base is equal to x times x or x squared, and the remaining four faces have an area of x times y or xy square centimeters. And therefore the constraint is the surface area S, which is equal to x squared plus 4xy equals 1,800. Again, x squared is the area of the base, and each of the remaining four faces, because we're not counting the top, has an area of x times y square centimeters, and there are four of those faces, giving us x squared plus 4xy for the surface area, which we said equal to 1,800. And now to maximize the volume, we'll have to write the volume formula in terms of one variable. So what we'll do now is solve the constraint for y, perform a substitution for y in the volume formula, which will give us the volume as a function of x. So focusing on the constraint, let's first subtract x squared on both sides, which gives us 4xy equals 1,800 minus x squared. And now to solve for y, we'll divide both sides by 4x. On the right, we'll divide each term by 4x. Simplifying, we now have y equals 1,800 divided by 4x simplifies to 450 divided by x. And then minus x squared divided by 4x simplifies to x divided by 4 or 1 fourth x. And now we'll make a substitution for y in our volume formula. We will substitute 450 divided by x minus 1 fourth x for y in the volume formula. Performing the substitution gives us the volume v is equal to x squared times y, which is the quantity 450 divided by x minus 1 fourth x. Let's go ahead and distribute. X squared times 450 divided by x gives us 450x. And then minus x squared times 1 fourth x gives us minus 1 fourth x cubed. The next step is to find the critical numbers, which is where the derivative of the volume function is equal to zero or undefined. So now we'll find v prime of x, which is equal to the derivative of 450x minus 1 fourth x cubed which gives us 450 minus 3 fourths x squared. Notice the derivative is never undefined, indicating to find the critical numbers, we set the derivative equal to zero and solve for x. Let's add 3 fourths x squared to both sides, which gives us 450 equals 3 fourths x squared. And now we'll solve for x squared by multiplying both sides by the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is 4 thirds. This gives us 4 thirds times 450 equals, on the right, 4 thirds times 3 fourths is 1. 1 times x squared, of course, is x squared. And 4 thirds times 450 is equal to 600, giving us 600 equals x squared. Notice here, algebraically, we will have a positive and negative solution, but because we know x is a length, x has to be positive, we will only take the principal square root, meaning positive square root. This gives us x equals the square root of 600, and because 600 is equal to 6 times 100, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10, the square root of 600 simplifies to 10 square root of 6. Simplifying is now required. At this point, we should verify this critical number produces a maximum volume, not a minimum volume, by making sure the volume function is concave down at this critical number. So let's go ahead and find the second derivative, v double prime, 
is equal to the derivative of 450 minus 3 fourths x squared, which is equal to zero minus six fourths x, or negative three halves x. And notice v double prime of 10 square root six, because the x value is positive, results in a negative second derivative, meaning it's less than zero, indicating the function is concave down at the critical number, and therefore we did find the x value that maximizes the volume. So now that we know the x value that maximizes the volume, we can go ahead and find the volume using the volume formula once we perform the substitution for y, where we have the volume is equal to 450x minus 1 fourth x cubed. But just in case your problem asks for the dimensions of the box, let's also determine y, where we know y is equal to 450 divided by x minus 1 fourth x. So we have y is equal to 450 divided by 10 square root six minus one fourth times 10 square root six. Simplifying, we have y is equal to 45 divided by square root six minus five halves square root six. This would be the height of the box. So now we can determine the volume two ways. We could just use x by using v equals 450x minus one fourth x cubed, or we could use the original volume formula, the volume v equals x squared times y. Since I already found y, I'm gonna go and use the original volume formula. The maximum volume v is equal to, again, x squared is 10 square root six squared, and then times y, where y is 45, divided by square root six minus five halves times square root six. And now again, we are told to round this exact product to two decimal places. I've already entered this into the calculator. Here it is. To two decimal places, the maximum volume is 7,348.47 cubic centimeters. Again, this is the maximum volume under the given conditions. I hope you found this helpful.